at the most wonderful place on earth, the thrift store. I'm gonna hop inside and go thrifting today. I'm on the hunt for a lot of stuff, actually. It's spring, out with the old, in with the new. April showers bring May flowers and all that kind of stuff. Let's go inside and see what they have. Oh, and <laughs> I left the house today wearing my slippers. At least they're cute. And I got these from the thrift store a while ago, obviously. This past weekend, Avelina asked to go to the thrift store. She wanted a couple of things and I was like, oh my gosh, twist my arm, you know what I mean? And then I got the thrift bug. And when we went there, I'm at Red, White and Blue, by the way, thrift store, I'm in Tampa. If you're local, this is pretty cool. Don't know how to open it though. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, wow. No, don't know how to close it. Only $50. So they only take cash here and I was limited on cash. And now I'm back and I got a pocket full of money burning a hole in my pocket. I'm just kidding, uh, kind of. So these look pretty fun. I don't know exactly what they are. It has a little pocket. This is the brand, I'm gonna look it up, but this makes me think it's like a kid's seat or something or jumping on it. I well, I looked them up. Apparently they're walking blocks and they retail for like $80, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, they're here for 13. I have to figure out what tag is on sale today. Yellow, blue, red. I should have brought a marker and wrote it on my hand. Guaranteed, I'll probably forget. I am actually looking for a bag. I mean, bright pink. Oh, is this Kate Spade? No, it's Fossil. Just equally as delicious. Is green tag on sale? <laughs> I already forgot. Um, not actually looking for a pink one. I mean, I always kind of am mostly on thread up because I don't know, they have some good ones on there, but yeah, I want a neutral bag, just something like beige brown. See if we can't find anything absolutely amazing. I don't know, I'm like never impressed by the brown ones. I mean, this one's kind of cute, but I have five kids, you know what I mean? Is this someone's basket? Because that's a cute little purse there. It's Anne Klein. Someone was having a pink moment. The black bags are really nice too. And they always have so many of them. <gasps> Ooh, you know what I saw when I was at the thrift store the other day with Avelina? Some really great reusable bags. Oh my heck. They have a plethora here as well. And what catches my eye, oh my heck, a Lily Pulitzer bag. Ma Eleanor always wants one of these, like if she has to bring something small to school or something. Oh my gosh, and it has the Lily Pulitzer paper in here. I mean, authenticated. Um, do they really want $6 for this? I could die. Oh my word, we found one of these. This is the Lily Pulitzer too. Uh, last time I was at the thrift store with Eleanor and she actually got it. $15, is that a joke? And then Meredith has to transport back and forth to school her nap time stuff. So um, hers recently broke. So I think I'm gonna snag this one for her. I think she'll really like it aside from the Christmas tree. That one's 99 cents, the princess one, but I'm wondering if I should get her like a better quality one. Like all these Vera Bradley totes, you know? Oh wait, I found one with dogs on it. And it says princess. Halloween. Ooh, 4th of July is coming up. Hold on, what's this one? Oh my gosh, a fuzzy one. That could be fun. Here's a Lucky Brand purse that has definitely seen a lot of love. $25. I'm sorry, where are we? Ooh, Hyde Park, represent. This floral one is really cute. Oh my gosh, is that Wednesday? That's fun. So I have a an obsession with grocery bags and it's kind of out of control. So I'm only going to buy ones that I like really can't live without like this. Come on, it's got pecan pie, all the pies. How can I resist? Also the other one sells grocery bags. Oh my gosh, this feels like there's a CD in here that are bundled. Oh, it's not a CD, it's just the bottom. <laughs> Boring. Oh, this could be a cute beach bag too for $4. I mean, come on. If it has some good food or cats on it or something, that's what I'm all about, you know? Well, this is a good quality Harris Teeter, your neighborhood friendly market freezer bag. $5 though? I don't know about that. Ooh, check this one out. How can I not get this? I mean, so classy. All right, let's get out of the bag section. Oh my gosh, Florida. I gotta get out of here. I have a cart full of bags. I figured this might be good for Meredith for her nins, but also on the top of some shelves, they have bigger bags. So 
I'm gonna look at those too. What's our plan of attack here? Are we going to look at the home goods before I check out the shoe section? I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a lot of good stuff down here. How are people passing all this stuff up? Okay, we've got some stay cool four mason jars. How are they gonna stay cool? They're literally plastic. We got Tommy Tippy. Happy birthday banners. It's the 40th birthday. What's this, lovery? Okay, we got some paper holders. A zucchini spiralizer. Oh my gosh, a KiwiCo crate. I love finding KiwiCo crates here. Check this one out. The science of cooking ice cream. Yeah, this is going in and yellow tag is half off. It's my lucky day. So far, the find of the day. I'm seeing some cute vases that could be nice for some, you know, springtime plants. This poodle is so cute. This is the one that was catching my eye. Ooh, I feel like it's a nice size. I like the plants that are in there. I don't know what kind of flower that is or whatever. This is actually nice, it's not for $20. I'm gonna leave it here. But that had some good weight to it, good quality. I just, uh, I don't care that much. Those sprigs look pretty nice too. All right, next pile of junk. One man's junk is another man's treasure. You never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. Here are some eggies, hard boiled eggs without the shell. <laughs> oh, a cuddle bug right there. Oh, bet that'll make someone really happy. Ooh, this is where I have found some really good pots and cast iron pans and stuff too. And some water bottles. You just keep, you never know what you're gonna find, really. I am now overloaded with cast iron skillies, but this one is $8 trying to ramp up my Dutch oven collection over here just for no good reason. Um, this one is $20. It, the brand is Threshold and you'd think, oh, 20 bucks, whatever. Check, peek on the inside. It looks amazing. Aside from a little like damage right here, I don't see any other damage. Good price for a cast Dutch oven. I'm going to leave it. I think if it was a different color, I'd be all over it. But for now, it's a no. A lot of kitchen tools over here and accessories. This bag is catching my eye because of all of the silicone straws, but there are also some metal straws on the back side, and it's $4 for all of it and more. <laughs> I like that they have, look more Dutch ovens under there. I like that they have these jars out here, but sometimes you have to be careful. Like they wanna sell this for $3. That might be worth it, I don't know. But something like this for $2, not really worth it unless it's half off because you can buy well if you're buying in bulk it's cheaper that way you know or unless it has a funky print like this then i'm in or like tweety bird you know what i mean hard to find like this is something unique fun springy and functional and it's half off so three dollars for like a butterfly dish come on that rooster i don't know what you put in here but that's pretty fun and funky if you're looking for unique come on down to red white and blue I don't know why I'm always drawn to like the M&M stuff. Oh, check this one out. Periodic table of elements for chess. That's funny. Like this is so cool and it's $6. Like, I mean, it's cool if you like M&Ms. Otherwise it's just like another thing you have to pass by. <laughs> Could you imagine spending $20 on this? Because that was the original price. It is super cute and it's rosemary and it's kind of giving croquette and Whimsical, I don't know what, oh, what's the term I'm looking for? I can't remember. My brain doesn't really work. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm matching. A matching set, why do I want it now? All right, if there's a third, they're coming home with me. I'm wanting to do a gallery artwork wall of all the kids artwork throughout the years. And so I need a lot of picture frames for that, but I'm still undecided. Like, do I just wanna get random picture frames? Or like, look how cool that is. Someone made that, you know, I think anyway. That's really cute too. Or do I wanna get all matching frames like from Ikea or something? Oh my goodness, this is darling. Okay, one of my toxic traits is just collecting artwork and never putting it up. <laughs> Come on, this is not as darling, but still can appreciate. I love a good round picture frame too. And I actually really like the print inside of here. I figured it out, it's called cottage core and I found another one. Score. Look how darling that young boy is. Oh my gosh, I want a portrait of my kids like that, like old school class, class pictures and stuff. Ooh, talk about old school. The arts and crafts sections is always popping off with all your arts and crafts finds. Look, some paint 
and this is four dollars for all of this paint and rulers and i don't know paint brushes all kinds of stuff in there actually i think i'm gonna get that for miss eleanor and then the arts and crafts kits like eight dollars okay a little steep for that Ooh, crayola crayons though for a dollar that's a screaming deal and they're metallic I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I recently saw online that someone found a vintage Ikea, like the most gorgeous purpley pink vase. Is that the cuckoo clock of my absolute dreams? Two of them? <gasps> someone decluttered their cuckoo clock collection. Guess that price on this. The thing is, how can you ever know if it actually works? And I think he's missing some friends up there. $80? $80? Okay, we'll leave that on the shelf there. This one is 30, but not a cuckoo clock. <laughs> what is this cat playing? Pigeonhole, what's that game? Cornhole? It's a dollar. I really like the cat. Some family crests going on down here. Pretty sweet. Ooh, is this the day I'm gonna find the clock of my dreams? Ooh, Mother, do you know Mother's Day is coming up? Perfect place to shop for Mother is, guess what? The thrift store. You know how people DIY stuff all the time? I feel like the texture of this face would be absolutely incredible. Um, I'm not gonna do it because been there, done that, never turns out the way I planned for it. Uh, this is really nice though, if it's authentic and not from home goods, but something tells me, actually, is it authentic? <laughs> is that Chitty Chitty Bang Bang up in here? Oh, clowns, creepy. The athletic section. I always love to find life vests here. $5 for a life vest. I think we're good on those because I bought a few over the past several trips, but I don't know, I'm second guessing because we always have extra people over and the little vests are always so hard to come by, but brand new in store, these sell for like 25, 30 bucks. It's kind of ridiculous. Also the balls, okay. Look out for a volleyball. My kids have been, I just bought one. Avelina was with me. Soccer balls too. Should I get that soccer ball? See, soccer balls come in different sizes, so I never know. Oh my gosh, and can I tell you I just bought a softball bat? And an arm and a leg on that, but I went to play it against sports and, and you know, we got all the softball gear. But anyway, volleyball, I just bought one. Oh my gosh, this one's weighted. Four pounds, I could barely lift it. My fingers hurt. Anyway, lots of basketballs, no volleyballs. Just bought one, can't find it. Whatever, c'est la vie and all that good stuff. Also, baseball gloves is pretty cool. It's going around the perimeter of the store. Pokemon case, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, what is that? I don't even know. That looks like the guy from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Kind of, if you like squint. Um, this caught my eye, it made me laugh. It must be a card game of sorts. Never heard of it, but pretty cool. This looks pretty sophisticated. $50? This thrift store has lost its dang mind. Also down here, I haven't had luck ever bringing one of these animal prints home to my children. I always forget it at the thrift store, so I'm just gonna leave it. Just not even attempt, but check this out. That's pretty cool for the Halloween season. All right, guess that price. If it's more than five bucks, I'm not getting it. Oh, well, darn. All the baby gear over here. Some of this stuff is really, really nice. Wow. Tools too? I never look at the tools. I'm searching the perimeter of the store and uh, normally I don't do this either. So I'm all kinds of out of whack. I'm actually looking for a Google Home Mini. So if we are lucky enough to strike gold, oh my gosh, and a diffuser, I almost forgot. A diffuser and a Google Home Mini. If you see one, I bet you see one. Everyone's gonna be like, you passed it. I don't see it. I don't. Do you see this though? And that is pretty cool. All right, well, talk about top five things I never thought I would get today. This laminator. I was actually looking at one of these on Amazon the other day. $25, like, will I use it? It's so unnecessary, but pretty cool. I think it'll die in my closet with my Cricut machine, so I'm going to refrain, but just know I really want it. We have so many tents after our great American Wadsworth camp out but I'm surprised to see how many here. Oh my gosh, is this meant to be? Are those cats? Somebody stop me. I don't even know what this thing is and for some reason I want it. Is it a chair? What's happening? I think I might undo the tape, but out of the corner of my stinking eye, what, someone just left a, the coolest outfit they ever found at the thrift store just right here? Like, come on. 
I got that sunshine in my pocket. Come on. Someone left this here for me. Thank you, Sir Ranch. It's a bag. It's a rolling bag. It's got a couple zippers. It's got wheels on the bottom. I mean, maybe this will be Meredith's like linen take home bag. People use these in big cities, I've heard, to, you know, bring their groceries home. This is so cute. Maybe I'll use it as a grocery bag. Talk me out of it. Are these not the largest, like, fake illuminating candles that you've ever seen? Wait, are they fake? They're, like, battery-powered, but the wick looks real. That's so... How bizarre. Those lamps are pretty fun and funky. No diffusers. I know lamps are supposed to, you know, provide mood lighting and all that good stuff. Oh, my gosh. Check this relic out. Oh my gosh, I remember when this was it. Oh, how funny. Cameras through the years, you know what I mean? All right. Anyway, mood lighting. I would just, it's overhead light or bust. I know that's a diffuser, but it's too small. Don't point that one out to me, okay? I saw that one. We saw it. There's one thing I need. I'll tell you what, it is a waffle maker. I've yet to find like the perfect Belgian waffle maker, you know? Uh, I love my dash because they're fun and funky. You know what Alex asks for every year at Thanksgiving? Do we have an electronic thing to like cut the turkey? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I don't. That's a dash things. I see some ice cream makers here. Is this a slushy machine? I don't really know. I did see a slushy machine the other That's an icy. That's like a to make cones, like the snow cones. Eight bucks, screaming deal for that one. Ooh, here's a snackster. Mo, oh, remember those? Hold on, are we making elephants? Circus, we're making circus waffles. Dash doesn't have this one out yet. <gasps> but they do have the popcorn maker. This is the Dash popcorn maker. And then this turns into the bowl that you eat it out of. Cool if everyone's sharing the same bowl. Not cool if everyone's fighting over who gets to hold it. If you feel what I'm stepping in. This looks like a mega crock pot. Like, do you know what I mean? Normal size, mega size. What does this do though? Uh, I don't know. Ah, rats, every time I come, every time I come. Is this someone's cart? I'm just gonna stand here for a while. I actually think it's her cart. Okay, man, I missed out. I missed out every time I come, I see one of those Ikea shelves. Oh man, maybe they have another one. Okay, 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 okay. Actually, this is really cute bookshelf. Have you seen the one at Costco lately? It looks like a tree. This is really sweet. I might get this for Meredith. For her room i'm trying to make over her room i mean that wentworth's is the next one on my list but when you find stuff at the thrift store you got to strike or let it go check this thing out this is a human touch 60 dollars. i spent way more on hours but it's like you know you put your feet in here and your calves and all that good stuff i actually think 60 bucks is a screaming deal for that i'm always on the lookout for side tables or end tables for the upstairs Ours are just covered in slime. Oh my gosh, it's a nesting one. I mean, how much more whimsical. What did I tell you her room is gonna be? I forgot already. She could store her dolls in here. Um, for $50 though, she can also store them in the basket that she's storing them in right now. If this isn't the most darling thing that I've seen in quite some time, it's a tool bench. Get out of here. A tool bench for $8? It's $8. Look how cute this is. Oh, and it has a little clock up here. Cause it's Tim, the tool man tailor time. Can I tell you that during Christmas time, I found one of these Melissa and Doug easels, whiteboard on the back, chalkboard on the front, uh, scream and deal, found it at TJ Maxx, have yet to put it together because I just haven't yet. I'm waiting for the back line I to be built. It's a whole thing, it doesn't matter. 10 bucks here. When I get home, I'll tell you what I spent on it. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not the only one who leaves tags on their belongings. So funny, right? I wonder how old that is. Anyway, these baskets are pretty amazing. I don't know what I could use them for, but I'm kind of obsessed with baskets these days. And there's another one. I mean, instruments? Tell me you know someone who owns one of these. Tenta Diane, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Photo tower. This is arguably my favorite section with all of the homemade blankets. I just think like how much time, energy, effort, love, and care went into making this stuff and then it ends up at the thrift store for four bucks. Like this one, even this one. Oh, that's an Afghan. I love it. I love it all. I would take them all home. 
This one has pockets. <gasps> Ooh, actually, here's a blue one. Ooh, actually, I love this one. I love them all. Let's be real right now. I love this one the most. <laughs> Where am I going to put any of these? I just, I need, I don't know if I can leave this one behind. Ever noticed the aprons here before? Look how darling this one is. That one's, uh, that one's fine. Uh, also a ton of sheets, sheet sets. And uh, what is this? Oh my gosh, the Ziploc bag trend. That's over. You know what else I've been finding at the thrift store a lot lately? The popcorn, the microwave popcorn machines. It's not even a machine. It's just a, a, like a glass bowl. What is this? I love. Ooh, a tablecloth? <gasps> I love. The organizing bins over here are lacking. Hold up, that's pretty sweet. Avelina is in the market for some curtains. It's so hard to find the size of the curtains. I mean, I have to like go through every one. Some of them say it, some of them don't. Oh, these are JC Penney. Yeah, this doesn't even say the size. I'm not just, and I'm not gonna sit here and measure out 120 inches, which is what she needs. Maybe another day. Oh my gosh, a snake pillow pet. So many pillow pets. Oh my gosh, I think I love this. <gasps> Look how darling for $4, perfect for spring. I'm in need of some workout attire. It's like never ending. I just like wearing some fun and funky new stuff. I'm not really into shorts, really, but I will sift through. Maybe I'll find something I absolutely adore. I get most of my workout gear from ThreadUp. It's just really easy to like sift through and put it in my size, you know, rather than sifting through all of this and finding something I love and then finding out that it is not my size. Keeping my eye out for some fun summertime hats because, oh my gosh, is this a felt rainbow cowboy hat? I mean, definitely something interesting. Oh, there's a couple of them, that's funny. I'm still looking for workout tops though, if you're wondering. Have not found a single one. I like a certain fit and style. Fabletics has some of the ones that I mostly wear, which is again why I love Thread Up so much because I could just filter out Fabletics. Ooh, the leggings are on that side. Oh my gosh, they have sets. All right, well, let's check this one out. Ooh, Track Suit Delight, number 84. Hey, shout out. Is that a scuba, a wetsuit? Scuba Steve. What's this one? Oh, extra small. Uh, ooh, you know what? I've been seeing these around more and more lately. The unitards, I don't know what they're actually called. Ooh, are we going golfing? Actually, I am going to look for some golfing attire for Wentworth. This is fun for summertime. Um, Alex has been taking Wentworth golfing and it's like the cutest thing. He's actually really good at it, so I figured. Ooh, Power Hold by Fabletics. Love Fabletics. Right next to it is Lulu Lemon. I actually really do like their leggings. We'll never buy brand new for myself. This is yellow tag, so it's half off, so it's only $10. I don't know how I feel about the sheer parts of it, but I do like the color and not necessarily something that I'm looking for right now because I feel like I do have a lot of blue leggings. And these are cropped, which I feel like is in, right? Not that I really care, but I like Lululemon. They come up so high, higher than uh, most of the other brands that I have. For the longest time, I thought this brand was pronounced Athletica. Athletic, Athletic. I can't even say it. I hear other people say it and I'm like, oh, is that how it's pronounced? And for some reason, my mouth just refuses to make that type of pronunciation. Athleta, Athleta, yeah. Athleta, that, Athleta. Seems so simple, but somehow doesn't seem right. Uh, anyway, some of these brands are just so hard to even find a size on. So I just wait until I find a pattern that I like. I don't even know. For a while, I was looking for, ooh, Fabletics. I feel like Thread Up has the matching sports bra to this. <laughs> I feel like for a while, I was looking for the perfect green legging and um, I found it. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. The camo is always in. I mean, for other people, not me. <laughs> These look really comfy cozy. Could be pajamas. I'm actually in the market for some PJs. 
Oh, and they're Lulu Lamones. Oh, only $75. Wow. You know, for someone who loves Shania Twain as much as I do, I don't own any leopard print. Should I buy some of that for fun? I don't think I'll ever wear it. Oh boy. Summertime. And the living is easy. All right, we've made it to the bathing suit section, mostly because it's at the end of the legging section. I'm always in the market for bathing suits. I live in Florida. There was a time in my life where I literally had one bathing suit for like five years. I don't even know who that person is anymore. <laughs> I think I have enough cover-ups. I say that with a question mark, uh, but it doesn't hurt to look for more, you know? I just black cover-ups on a hot, hot beach. That's a, an instant no for me. These look like PJ shorts. Ooh, I think maybe someone just stuck some stuff here. Oh, the shorts. Okay, so like, these look like bike shorts. Why are they here? Interesting selection. I'm just gonna do a quick sift through the bathing suit section. I think I told you guys, I found that vintage bathing suit on, I don't even know the site anymore, but they canceled the order right after I made it and I'm still crying about it. This would be fun. So I have a pink charange and I don't have a bathing suit to wear it with. That might work. I do also like a nice sophisticated lady stripe, you know? The higher the better for me. If they look like the most ridiculous granny panties, that's my type of bathing suit. Sadly, that's not my size, but it is Land's End. Like the pink, come on, what is that gonna, oh my gosh, everything will be falling out of that. You know, I just can't. Also, all these mannequins, the wigs are for sale. Avelina, oh wait, this one is attached. But Avelina loves the wig. Oh, this is a sweet little, who wears it like this? Matilda, not Matilda. Starts with an M. Ooh, that's a nice floppy hat. I feel like I'm striking out in the clothes section. So what I like to do is go through the racks that they have yet to put out. No one has seen this stuff before. Still uninterested. Maybe it's just because my brain is telling me I no longer am in need of clothing. These shorts are cute. <gasps> oh, is this the nighty of my dreams? It is a medium. All right, I'll try it on. A new rack. Oh, a red coat. Is this the red coat of my dreams? Remember when I was looking for a red coat? I don't think that's it. I also have zero need for a coat, but you know, you never know for next year. This is actually the best time to look for coats and winter gear during the summer months because no one is buying them. So you have a very wide selection to choose from. All right, so far this is uninteresting as well. What's happening? Oh, I'm wanting to look through the shirts too. Just to find, you never know what you're gonna find. Maybe hopefully something fun and funky. Like that's actually pretty cute. I don't think I'll ever wear it. Allie Rose. Should I try it on? I just don't think that'll work for me, but I do love this green cardigan. I do plan on taking many a Costco trip. I like that color green anyway. That's a cute top, kind of, not really. I was actually looking at one of these similar to this on Amazon. Somebody talk me out of it, will ya? It looked really great on the gal who was trying to sell them on Instagram. <laughs> okay, well, that was a bust. Actually, this one might be cool, but not really. Kind of giving Raggedy Ann. This, another red coat. Why are the coats here? Love this purple one. Oh, these are the long ones. Actually love this green one. Would never wear. This is like Titanic style. All the way to the floor for people vacationing, not the people who actually live in Florida. I am on the hunt for a nice white. Oh, is this a jumper? Could work. A nice white, who would buy this for $50 and then never wear it? They probably realized, oh crap, that's see-through. Anyway, what am I on the lookout for? A nice white summer dress. This could totally work. It's not too fancy at all. It's actually a really beautiful wedding dress and it's only 30 bucks. Oh, oh wait, is this actually a summer? Oh, another jumper. Everything is see-through. Why do they even approve like see-through things for women's clothing? Like so many of the white pieces, of pants. Can't tell you how many white pants I bought. And I'm like, well, dang, these are see-through, you know? This is a beautiful dress. Not my size, otherwise I'd pick it up. And I'm trying not to get like spaghetti strap stuff. I actually love this too. Also, not my size. Not sure if that would fit over my birthing hips. This is so tropical and fun. You know what, is this a whisk? Someone put this down for me. 
Look at that handle. Wow. This is cute. Something for somebody else, not my size, but I really like this one too, which is also clearly not my size. That's the tricky thing about thrift stores. You find some cute stuff and then feeling of defeat. I actually had this at one point in time. I might still have it. I actually had two at one point in time. Man, that made me feel like a woman. But it really didn't, which is why I donated it. Actually, is this a romper? Even if this isn't my size, I'm going to try this on. This is incredible. I hope someone amazing buys that and really appreciates it. This is really cute too, but I really can't with the sleeves. Like where, where, what section is this? The fun gal, oh, All right, this is the fun lady section. Everything just came off the hanger and I had to fix everything. Oh my, if this is a romper, I'm taking it. Oh, it's not, it's a shirt. Well, maybe I need to look at the shirts. Those are cute. Oh my gosh, and Mickey Mouse. It's not a bathing suit. It's a cute bathing suit. Man, I feel like a woman. All right, where was I? I do believe I was looking for a white dress, and I don't know why I'm in the coat section. Is this a two-piece set? Have I lost my mind? Oh, oh, but this pink robe. Is this a robe? Ooh, so luscious. That is a pink robe. What is this then? Another pink robe? Why is it in with the, I don't know, formal dresses? This is so pretty. I don't have anywhere to go. This could be fun for the beach. Okay, a white dress, you know what got me? I saw someone trying on a Lily Pulitzer try on. Felaine's Basement. Okay, someone got this for literally $99, but it was on clearance for 80. It, it is here for four. I don't know who that's gonna fit, but it's not me. Anyway, I saw someone trying on this brand again. So chic some Lily Pulitzer try on pieces and she had a white dress and I just thought, oh my gosh, that woman across the room, I want to be her. So here I am at the thrift store trying to recreate her look because even though Lily Pulitzer was having a sale, actually I love that, no stinking way I'm spending $99 on a dress. Cause normal price, you know, it's like 250. You know what I mean? Was that all the white dresses? This bag, we meet again. This thing is still here. I feel like I've seen so many of these. This is Dooney and Burke, a vintage, horrible condition. Still trying to sell it for $25. Actually, blue tag is on sale, white. Oh wait, I see more, let's go that way. I'm just going straight under, I don't even care. It's like Narnia, <gasps> more white. Okay, this could be good bathing suit cover-ups. Ooh, white sweater dress, okay, I can dig. <gasps> now this would be a beautiful wedding dress. Probably got it off Amazon or something. <laughs> This too, this could be a bathing suit cover-up. Actually, this might be a bathing suit cover-up. It's Colleen Lopez Petite. I'm gonna try that on. Ooh, this looks like a bathing suit cover-up too. How many bathing suit cover-ups do I need? I live in Florida. The real question is how many bathing suit cover-ups don't I need? Oh, is this a Wendy's hat? It's pretty funny. Okay, so no spaghetti straps for me unless it is the perfect spaghetti strap. This is like such a darling dress. Oh, BP, that's a brand from Nordstrom, I think. I just like the knit of that. Such a beautiful dress. Oh, with the bow in the back. It's like an engagement dress or rehearsal dinner dress. Ooh, actually, I really like this one. Not as flowy as I would want. And it does have pockets though. It's loft. I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Ooh, okay, Chinkos. I don't know if this will fit me, but I do watch someone on YouTube, Marnie Goldberg, I feel like, and she does, ooh, oh, okay, perfectly placed flowers right there. She does a lot of like fashion content and I do enjoy what she shares. And she has like, you know, chinko lady kind of stuff. Okay, so this is flowy and free. Too small for me, but I love the look of this, like so casual. So cute, so vintage. Sadly, it won't fit. This one too, I'm trying to look for fun, funky fabrics. And then also the white dresses, you know? I like to have a good variety in my closet. Love the pleating detail. This is, you can tell the vintage dresses, you know what I mean? Just has a certain aesthetic to them, a certain feel. They've lived a little life, but have so much more to give. Oh my gosh, a flamingo sweater. Oh, I do have to look at the pajamas. Speaking of a bright pink Kate Spade purse, let's check, 60 bucks. I feel like that's like the same, oh, it's not even crossbody, it's just at one of these. It's very similar price to what they would sell it on at ThreadUp for. Gorgeous, gonna leave it behind. Another beautiful 
vintage find vintage or just expensive i don't really know it's the brand is red from Saks fifth avenue off of fifth but the tag tells me old but it could just be my lack of know-how this is so cute it looks like kids though i love the brand name walking on sunshine that's a medium i feel like maybe that's for eleanor the fun colors are on the other aisle i think this is lily Stop it. It is Lily. It even has flamingos on it. It's also $45. They know what they're doing here. I leave so many Lily pieces behind because I'm like, um, still don't want to spend $45. Oh, wait. Blue tag is half off. Oh, uh -huh. still not going to get it. Maybe I'll find something better over there. Found a black crossbody Kate Spade purse. And the inside is like super bright pink. You can tell it's quality. I mean, obviously it's Kate Spade, so it probably sells for a lot, but guess that price. Did you guess $80? Is green tag half off? I picked this up because I was like, oh, I like that color. That's fun. The zipper's broken. Oh, maybe I can just use it, you know, with my hands. The brand is Valentina. I'm not a brands gal. And I also don't want to spend $60 on a broken purse. It does have some cool pockets and it's cute. Would be good for the beach and stuff. I'm like five bucks. Yeah, but... 60 what the hell it's actually such a shame 35 dollars. also not my size but i love this print from lily maybe i'll find one that's in my size and it will have the half off color tag <laughs> we can dream can't we actually this color over here is apparently the color of the season this like corn flower corn flower light blue Ooh, and gingham okay these puffy sleeves Never really been my thing, but I think they're darling on other people. This purse caught my eye, uh, mostly because I'm looking for a neutral purse. I thought it was a crossbody, but it's not. It's just like a double shoulder strap here. It's Dooney and Burke, but guess that price. Did you guess $35? Ding, ding, ding. I'm looking for a neutral purse. I thought it was a crossbody, but it's not. It's just like a double shoulder strap here. It's Dooney and Burke, but guess that price. Did you guess $35? Ding, ding, ding. You are the winner. You know what you win? More time at the thrift store with me. The ultimate prize. This feels so heavy. At first I thought, oh, nice summer dress. No, oh my gosh, was there a cape on the back? It's Calvin Klein, not made for Floridians. I'll tell you what, I need like close to nothing on my body during the summer months. Oh my gosh, wild. Just ran into a cousin. I love running into people here. Almost every time I come thrifting, I run into at least one person which just makes it even more exciting and fun um, I was looking for a hat like just something just a hat do I need a hat yeah yeah I do um, anyway someone picked up the lily dress and she's making sure that it's going to fit her and I'm actually pumped for her beige give me the color all right we're gonna find something good I just know it's right under our nose this is a nice one i don't really like it that much <laughs> stop it right now say it isn't so i i don't know if this one is my size either but it definitely will fit me more than the other one and that was pretty funny that i found that what are the chances look this is ralph lauren new with tag cute a little lily section happening over here nothing that i love so i found this coat and it is the woman across the room coat i just i gotta try it I have to see. It doesn't fit me. Time's been moving slowly. The ladies' white button up, and I would argue men's white button up would make for some really great beach cover ups. It's the chinkos right there. I mean, obviously some of these are a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I'm in the pajama section and you know what's really trending right now? White pants on the beach. I feel like this material and everything, like a faux corduroy. I don't even know what that is. Gap extra small. I might get these for Avelina. They might be too tall. Oh my gosh, they fit her. They're probably gonna fit her. I just imagine like her walking, you know? I'm like, is she that tall? Yeah, she is. She might hate them. It's very hard to figure out what she would like. Like clothes wise, I can, I never know. When I, just when I think I have it figured out, you know, just like motherhood in general. Oh my gosh, Barbie dress. Is this a nighty or what? That would be really fun. 
Anyway, just when you think you have things figured out and they throw you for a loop, whatever that expression is. Here's a cat nightgown. Not exactly the cat nightgown of my dreams. Ooh, Avelina found a robe when I took her the other day. That was fun and exciting, considering she's been using Eleanor's. Ooh, that is a luxurious, sophisticated lady robe. <gasps> what is that? Ooh, a dainty little knight. Nighty. Oh, wow. Bridgerton who? Guys, did you know the new season of Bridgerton is coming out? I haven't even watched the second season, if we're being honest. Or third. I don't know. What season are they on? I haven't watched anything farther than the first, I want to say. This, these are really cute. But we were at Bath and Body Works the other day, Alex and I. And I guess they have like a Bridgerton candle Bath and Body Works collab. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know. Are these Capri? I don't like a collar though. It is a Capri, which I love. And I love the top that it's not like a full collar. I just can't tell if I love it enough. And since I'm on the fence, I'm gonna leave it behind, which is always what happens. And I end up with no pajamas and then sleeping in my workout gear. I mean, they have so many good finds here. I don't know why I'm so picky when it comes to pajamas. Maybe I'm not picky. Maybe I just don't care enough. Maybe that's it. Oh, look, friends. Central perk. Then like what, with the booty shorts? On to my favorite section, the two-piece sets. And did I just, did I just find it? Oh my gosh, I just found it. The gem of the day. I hope it fits me. And it's Aileen Petite, because I'm so petite. Look at this though. Oh, love it. I did destroy this one in the process. All right, what's up here? A paddle? It's questionable. Like, what is this? I have so many questions. There are so many random things. What does this say? Gather. Let's gather at the thrift store is all I'm saying. Are, like, are these PJs? These are actually really cute. Okay, I think I just, I don't know if these are actually going to fit me. But I'm actually going to try them on. Yeah, there's no passing. Someone's behind me. There's no room. Okay, I know you're interested in what the other two piece sets look like. Oh. <laughs> so, I will let you know if there is anything exciting so far. I got the most exciting thing here. Remember last time we found that jean two-piece set? So the hot pink tracksuit is a must. This is actually really nice. To, well, is it nice? No, Kim, keep walking, keep, keep sifting. This could be something if you, I'm liking this print. It is a shirt and a shawl, like a shirt and a jacket, a shacket combo. Oh my gosh, is this like his and hers? No, oh my gosh, it's a cute little jacket for the dress. Really like that, who made that? Carl Lagerfeld. You know, I really like Carl Lagerfeld. He's one of my favorite designers. Ooh, ooh la 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 la. Oh my gosh, some of these look like children's sizes. This is cute. <gasps> this is cute, TJ Maxx for 40 bucks. Not my size, but I think I love it. I mean, I would sweat to death in that, but here we are. Don't ask me why I'm looking at sweaters, but I found this. It's so cute. Studio something. Oh my gosh, brand new with tags, $54. Oh, Francesca's. Isn't that darling? I kind of want to get it for Eleanor. I feel like Eleanor would wear that, but it might be too big for her. And then the rest of the sweaters. I honestly, like, what am I? I don't need a sweater. But, like, will I find the most amazing white sweater here? I found a workout jacket in this section. Ooh, J. Jill. Always a nice find. I have been looking for one of these. Here last time, didn't get it. Because so I was like, what am I going to do? But then I just go to bed and I'm like, oh, I should have got that Fabletics workout jacket. Oh, my heck. Check this out. You're not going to find this anywhere other than the thrift store. So this is like old world money, whatever that talk is, you know, like the black and white stripe. I keep going backwards, but this would be a good one. Coldwater Creek. Anyway, so all the vibes. I really like this one, but again, a cable knit sweater, like somebody stopped me, you know? And then I found a bunch of these. This is my Christmas movie watching sweatshirt. How adorable is that? We're fierce. We're feeling good. We're Calvin Klein jeans. Oh my gosh, Coldwater Creek. I can have a Valentine's Day sweater for only seven bucks. <gasps> and then Hershey Park. Stop, we love Hershey Park. How big is this? I was on the phone going through the skirts and the shorts. Um, now I'm in the pants section. I really like these. They seem nice and springy, a nice linen pant. I think I'm gonna give these a whirl. I might get them. I wish they were just one size smaller, but you know, the nice loose fit 
It's like great for pajamas is what I'm looking for. So these might be a heck yes. I feel like these could really have a moment. They're high rise, they're wide leg, which I feel like is really in. Not for me, but uh, maybe for you. I, I have such a hard time picking out pants and stuff. Croft and Burl. Oh my gosh, Lizzie McGuire pants. I found some good white t-shirts beside the seaside. Good old Talbots. Life's a beach. This might fit one of my children. So teeny tiny petite. Coral Bay, giving all the Florida vibes. Love it. This one, I don't know, might be a good cleaning shirt. This one I thought was interesting. And then Liz Claiborne, vintage. I found some really great storage baskets, but hey, is Madewell hyped up? Like, are we hyping up Madewell? Just a question. I don't really have an answer for it. It's kind of rhetorical. I, and here's my problem. Whenever I get to the shirt section, I'm like, I don't really care about any of this stuff. <laughs> I don't go golfing. Oh, a cute banana shirt. Like, I feel like this is a child size. I bought Wentworth a banana shirt. Oh my gosh, now see, this is cute. Also Talbot's. Love that. It's so tight here too. I feel like they're really doing a great job stocking all of the product. Ooh, I like this one. Lizzie McGuire for sure. I just don't think I would ever wear it. You know what I mean? I like to say that I don't really wear shirts. But it's true, like I don't really wear shirts. <laughs> They're literally just plain shirts. Oh my gosh, there's more baskets down here. I think I have the other two that match this. Oh, check it, how excited am I gonna be? Yes! Kind of going basket crazy. I got a problem. And then I found these. Look how dang cute these are. If you just put like a plant in here, like come on. I don't think I'm gonna get those because plants. I don't do well with plants, but I am intrigued by all the baskets. Basket season is over, don't you know? Which is the perfect time to get baskets now. They're like two bucks here. Insane. Oh, look at this little baby one. Another Madewell piece. This is a flannel. It's cute. Time for the try on. Are we still walking on sunshine? I'm walking on sunshine with my slippers. So ridiculous. <laughs> this is this is my life. Um, I love it. I don't know about you, but it's a yes for me. Every time I try on printed leggings, I just question my entire life. Like, the, this is a no for me. My shoes are killing me. I had to try these on. I was hoping I wouldn't fall in love with them, but um, I do love them. Ooh, is that a stain? Oh no, it's the logo. Well, that's hilarious. That's how little I know about uh, Lulu the Moon. Shoes are still cracking me up. It's half off, so does that make it better? You know, my camera almost gave up on me. Uh, hello? My camera is uh, giving up on me. I don't know if I've been filming for too long, but I actually love this. It's the loft romper. Uh, da, da, da. My shoes. Is this too fancy for a beach cover up or is it actually perfect? I don't know, it's like really see-through. I'm gonna have to think on that. <laughs> well, you know it's high quality when they offer a Velcro closure. Um, love the print. I actually love the length of everything about this. Love it. When all the influencers are talking about the perfect spring outfit, this is exactly what I have in mind. I mean, are you joking? Pockets, the print, yes. Two-piece set, also yes. Low collar, someone's looking at my cart, I gotta go, but this is, you guessed it, a no. <laughs> I put together the perfect outfit. It just sadly doesn't fit. I was wrong. The perfect pajamas do exist. And they have pockets. That's how I knew I put them on backwards. I was looking for shirts for Wentworth. This is the only one I found. And then this shirt, is, these are like right up Alex's alley, but none of them are his size. So it's such a sad thing. Fun for other people, I guess, if they get here, but I looked at the sizes. They're all too small for him. So I'm just hoping I can find something that he might enjoy for the summertime that is also his size. You know, a little Hawaiian shirt, if you will. My way out, but I found this gem. It's got pockets, so adorable. Sadly, not my size. Story of my life, right? The story of today. Actually, this one's really cute too. I like that one. Oh well, I'm too late. I don't need another dress. Oh, I like this though. That's really cute. Like this one. 
I'll go to bed dreaming about these. Oh my gosh, the classic turtle. The turtle dress, what brand is this? Fresh produce. I think I'm falling in love with this one. I'm gonna leave it, sadly. I'll dream about that one tonight too. Made it to the shoe section. I have literally five minutes to look and then I have to get out of here. But I'm looking for some white kicks, some white sneakers, workout sneakers. Some of these have seen better days. I'm not even gonna lie. Are these Dalmatians? No, they're Mickey. I'm not really a huge Mickey Mouse fan, but they would match the shirt that I picked out, right? I need like actual workout shoes, not just like walking around shoes. That seems to be hard to come by, which is another reason why I like. Oh, these say walk, run, easy spirit. These look like New Balance. Oh, these are really nice too. I think they're too small. Anyway, that's another reason why I do like thread up. These are really great quality, but not my size. Story of my day. I've been in here so long, I don't even remember what tags are on sale. It may have switched. These are Clarks, they're purple, and they are darling. Um, I just have one question. Is green tag half off? <laughs> I am in the market for some sandals, and these are super fun for the beach, for the plage. These are two summertime fun sandals. Um, just trying to peek around. I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with sandals. It's like, do I want to show my dogs off? No. But do I want my feet to sweat? Also, no. I am officially my Aunt Judy. And why do I love them so much? Those might hurt my feet after a while. I need something that's like easy to slip on, to like feed the chickens with. I don't know, my dogs. My little piggies, these look comfortable. I saw a pair of Nike slides somewhere. If you saw them, you saw them. If not, I don't know where they went. There's more over here. I say, oh, there's more, as if I didn't know there's like four more aisles. These are cute, but the tie up, it's not for me. These look comfortable. Earth Origins. I feel like that's my kind of sandal. Ooh, I could walk around Bush Gardens all day in these sun, all day. Sadly, I don't think they fit me. My heel is kind of falling off. That's sad. Let's find uh, one of those, but in my size, please. The tan brown section. I want no heel. I want comfort and I want style. Is that too much to ask? Here's another pair of clerks. I feel like my mom would wear those. I'm sorry, I found the mega load of Lily Pulitzer cropped pants or capris, whatever you wanna call them. So adorable, they're not on sale. They're like all red tag, but oh my gosh, this print, beachy print, I might not be able to contain myself with these. This one is not Lily, but still loving that daisy print. Perfect for springtime. This with the butterflies, like come on. This one is J. Crew, but still loving that print. So beachy, so fun. And that concludes our Lily Pulitzer extravaganza in the Capri section. They have like half an aisle of sleeping bags here. And Catherine, cousin Catherine, I'm thinking of you. Look at this vintage 101 Dalmatians. Have you seen that guy on Instagram? I think he takes old like vintage bed sheets and turns them into really nice quality jackets. And then he charges, of course, like hundreds of dollars for the jacket. Look, is this a fandelier? Like a chandelier? This might not be it. And I'm actually looking for a diffuser. I think this one would be too small for what I want. Might end up getting like five bucks. You can't beat that. This one's 10. I don't like the way that it looks, but I just want a diffuser. I don't really care about the way that it looks. You know, I mean, I kind of care. If I did mugs, I would totally get this one. I love Alice in Wonderland. Curiouser and curiouser. I don't think I'm getting this, but my heart is kind of breaking. Like, look at the details. Noah's Ark, who? This is a diaper bag, and I honestly would use it as a purse. Like, <laughs> stand up. But she's trying to put these boots on. Holy crap, I'm laughing. <laughs> these are Austin Powers circa 2000. Like, what is happening here? It this is a really nice pair of Brooks and they look like they're, you know, got a lot of life left in them, a lot of miles left. Sadly, they're not half off. So I think I'm going to leave them because my funds are limited today. These are a gem. Gems. Oh, I'm finding gems all the way around town. They have a ton of shapewear here. It's all along here, but check it. This one's actual Spanx brand for eight bucks, what? And then this one, I don't know, it looks pretty good. Not Spanx brand, three bucks. How many gems in one little spot here? Get out of here. 
Listen, Lily Pulitzer, I'm not going to get this because it's not my size, but I love it. And I don't love a three quarter sleeves. This I actually love, might get it, even though it's three quarter sleeves. It's what, who, what, where kind of reminds me of the sprinkles on top of ice cream. Next, this I love, and if it fits me, I'm definitely getting it because it is vintage Liz Claiborne. And I don't know what color tag it is. It's a red tag, but way cheaper than the Lily, and it's giving clueless. It's really thick and heavy. But I was just looking for, you know, something yellow, something springy. Here's where I run into problems. I love this. Oh my gosh, is it new with tags? Okay, so new. This is Lily Pulitzer, if you didn't know the print already. It's $100, $98, which is wild sauce. It's not my size, but like it's kind of oversized because it's supposed to be flowy and like a beach cover up. They're trying to sell it for $50 and I could cry. What's the beaded number behind it? Oh my gosh. Like, where are you going to find this anywhere else? This is also Michael Simon, $45. But just check out the detail. This is stunning. <gasps> on the back. Who's on the back? Just one little poodle. <laughs> so classy. I found Bing Bong and I could cry. I love him so much. If you've never seen the Inside Out movie, it's a great one. We were Inside Out characters for Halloween a few years ago. And it's just so good. They are coming out with a second one with new emotions like anxiety. That's the only one I can think of. And we're super pumped about it. But... I think I'm gonna leave him behind. I was gonna get him, but I'm on a limited budget. All right, these are free people pants. If you're wondering, they are pocket free, perfect for the beach. And um, I think I actually don't like them at all. I thought, oh, these would be fun and funky and cute. Um, definitely giving Brady Bunch vibes. Brady Bunch, like put on your Sunday best kids, we're going to Sears. I didn't show you the last couple of things that I tried on but I, <laughs> I think I actually love this dress. I feel like I'm sprinkles on top of ice cream, ice cream cone. Like maybe it's the sleeves. <laughs> Come on. She guesses what I'm going to say. That's actually an acting uh, strategy. Anyway, improv and all that. I'm pretty sure this is gonna come home with me. Very springy, very fun, very summery. Not sure if it's my color, but I don't really care. And it has pockets, like obviously, that's a win. Um, Avelina just humbled me real quick and she said this reminds her of some kind of Dumble. What does it remind you of? Hufflepuff, Harry Potter. Hufflepuff from Harry Potter. You guys, just shows our generational gap because this sleek outfit with pockets, I might add, the design is top notch, reminds me of Clueless. Can you? Or teacher oh in the 90s, kind of kind of like, excuse me, miss. Do you have any extra, can I sharpen my pencil? <laughs> I actually think I love it. It's a little tight around my waistline. Um, but other than that, I think it's a hit. Sorry, Avelina said this is giving Stranger Things. And you know what, she's not lying, but I think she's talking about one of the boys outfits on there. I wish it was slightly smaller so it would be more my size. Like the shoulder line is here, it should be here. You know what I mean? So like a few inch difference. It is kind of, but you know what? It's beachy. For me, it's giving beach in the 90s. It's giving all the amazing vibes. Obviously, this is vintage, as if I even need to point that out. I'm debating on this, but not that hard. I'm like leaning 90% yes here. What, what are you thinking? I'm slightly convinced this is like a young girl's size uh, because it is a an extra large and I thought oh that doesn't look like an extra large <laughs> but um I do love the print like come on it, it goes past my fingertips so another yes I think I stop awfully that's too small for you just picture it I'm on the beach walking up and down the shore enjoying I don't know some yogurt and granola what do we eat on the beach <laughs> those are the beachy waves in our lily do we love them? Do we hate them? Is it too much? Not enough. Is it easier to picture now? Oh, hi. Right? They have so many hats here. I think this is a winner. I think it's a winner for sure. I always look a little disheveled when I'm leaving the thrift store. I found some gems. I have some regrets already. I'm like, should I have got these baskets? I don't know. Meredith needs them in her closet. So I feel like, yes. But were they the best price? better than Target, I guess. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I will share a haul with you. So that's exciting. I got some good stuff to share. <laughs> Bye.